Hey everyone, welcome back to DCP. I'm back with my Samsung Galaxy S4 because I have a very exciting video. As you saw in the title, I'm going to be showing you how you can get iOS 9.1 emojis on any Samsung Android device in general. This is not like my previous video because in the previous video, I simply covered how to get it for Samsung or HTC devices or devices that can change font. This is for absolutely anything. The only catch is you need to root your phone. I previously rooted my Samsung Galaxy S4 and it was a little bit sketchy, but I used Kingo Root and everything went well. If you're ever considering to root your phone, I do suggest you do your research and also back up all of your phone. I ended up restoring the phone since I didn't really need it, but I will leave a link down below to the video that I watched that was super helpful as well as some other tips and tricks. But that's not what we're going to be talking about today. The only reason why I have not posted a video how to do it without the root is because it's not possible for me at this point. I do not have the Marshmallow 6.0.1 update since my carrier did not release it to my Samsung Galaxy S6 as of yet. So I tried looking for alternative ways since it's been such a requested video in the comments of not only that video but other videos that I've posted. So here is my video to address it as well as to show you guys an alternative way to get it. Although you need to root, rooting really is not that bad. I always thought rooting was terrible but now that I've done it to my S4, I'm planning on doing it to my S6 as well. Without further ado, I'm just going to get right into the video and tell you what you need to do. So before we get started, I want to show you the emojis I currently have right now. The keyboard I'm using is the flexi keyboard and I did a review on that previously but I have the Google emojis right now so not iOS 9 at all as you can see this is me tapping it tongue out da -da -da. just to show you I have the Google emojis right now so that may be something similar to you guys you may have the Google emojis or whichever so what you're going to want to do is go to the Play Store and tap Emoji Switcher. This is a must. You need to make sure you're rooted or else this tutorial won't work for you. You can take a look at the interface by going to the pictures and I've already done it. It is totally safe. So once you've installed it, you can open it up. There will be a pop-up asking you to grant Emoji Switcher the authority to change your emojis. So once we're in Emoji Switcher, as you can see, it shows your current emojis and it shows you set emojis to. So I'm going to go tap set emojis to and I'm going to scroll down to iOS 9.1 v3 testing. Once I tap set, it will do an installation process. So as you can see, it really is that simple. It will install the new emojis as well as back up your old emojis and we need to reboot in order for it to really work. So I'm just going to tap reboot and I'm going to reboot my Samsung. Okay, here we are back on the So once that's done, I will show you guys your new iOS 9 emojis. So I'm just going into messaging. I'm going to start a new message. And one of the best things about this app that I found, and I guess this may not be important to a lot of you, you can now add emojis to your contact names, I believe, since you have it everywhere. So please let me know in the comments down below if you can do that just to confirm. But when I press emojis, I have all the iOS 9 emojis. So as you can see we have the hand emoji, we have Let me just try to turn on the brightness so it's easier. So as you can see, we have the hand emoji. Let me just type it in the message. We have the hand emoji, the looking up emoji, the zipper emoji, the nerd emoji, sick emoji, bruised emoji, money emoji. 
the robot emoji. The only thing is, when we hold down here, we're not able to change the color of the people, but you do get the people nevertheless. So I cannot change the colors of them, which is unfortunate, but with a further update of Emoji Switcher, we probably will be able to get that. And then we have the new emojis of like just the generic people. And, and as you can see, they all show up up here. So as you can see, a whole bunch of emojis and they're all to your liking. So if you have a rooted Android or if you're planning on rooting, make sure to check this out. It's called Emoji Switcher and you can find it in the App Store. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are interested in things like this to let me know to make more root videos. And please look forward to seeing more because this is a whole nother genre that I can't wait to try out. But there will still be regular reviews as well as regular tutorials for non-rooted phones. So don't worry about that if you're just not on the rooting train. If you have a rooted phone, are planning to root your phone, or aren't you sure, share your comments about rooting down below and start a discussion. I will see you guys in next week's video of DCP and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye!